Previously on Fallout New Vegas. When Courier 6 arrived in Prim, he was greeted by a most tense standoff between the New California Republic and a group of raiders with plenty of innocents caught right in the middle. It was the town's deputy who had the information the Courier needed. But the same deputy was also being held hostage by the invading raiders. While the courier certainly had his own fair share of troubles, you'd come to find out that he had a knack for problem solving. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, baby! We're here in the Vicky and Vance Casino. Is this the Vicky and Vance or is this the Bison Steve Hotel? Yeah, the Vicky and Vance Casino, alright. Yeah. And we were just recently disappointed by the fact that we cannot open the, uh, the safe that has, um, at least I believe I remember there being a, um, a unique pistol inside. But don't worry, we'll be able to get there, um, before too long. Let's see, what level are we right now? Stats level four. Yeah, once we get to level six, I think we'll be able to get in there. Uh, no problem. We have enough, uh, equipment on us to boost us up. But we gotta get to level six. That way we can pick up the, um, what is the perk here? Comprehension, I think it is, which is the one that, uh, Either. maybe it's the one that doubles the, uh, efficacy of, of books? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe I have that mixed up with something else. Howdy. Oh, well, we'll, we'll get it eventually. One of these days. We're gonna get it. Uh, Howdy. for now, though, we're going to poke around here and, uh, see what else they've got here. And talk to the folks as well before we, uh, decide to try and save them. Because we definitely gotta help liberate the, uh, the deputy, deputy Beagle. You know he's tough because he's named after a cute little doggy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Howdy. We've already talked to um. Oh, by the way, I, I reacquainted myself with Caravan. I don't I don't know if I'm as good as I used to be, and I certainly don't have the deck I used to have. But uh, <laughs> but we'll uh we'll get there. Probably toward the Hello end of this, there. we'll do some gambling. What brings you to Prim? Uh, tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. Mm. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Oh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Please make She makes some messed up kind of food, I think. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion <laughs> venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. <laughs> it's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. <laughs> hey, can I have some? Does sound good, don't it? How many oh, red right, scorpion glands you, you got? I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Uh, yeah, the thing about that, Bye. though, is, like, the scorpion glands are so valuable. I don't know if I want to trade it just for food. Forgot what the food does, though. We might we might save one and figure out, uh... Move along, Reacquaint please. ourselves with that. We should add... We, could, we should talk to Prim Slim first. Howdy, He's got a nice partner. hat. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Uh, who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeah. Oh man, what a cool guy. <laughs> who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Almost. Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Oh man. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Oh man, should we hear the whole tale of Vicky and Vance? Oh, we got to, man. I I really want to know. Yahoo! Yahoo! I had a wow! To tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first. Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Oh man. Fact right on. is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Oh wow. Now true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde Sure, did. sure. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But oh, crime is crime. Hell yes, hell yes, baby! Too. Having lived by the gun, 
Well, Vance owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. No we'll shit. never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. Damn. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and the there's a machine gun in the case next to it. Oh shit. Um. Yeah, let's hear it again. <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> Tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada. Man, I love the cut of this guy's gym. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Hoo-wee! What about the Bison Steve Hotel across the street? I want to worry about the Bison Steve! <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Oh, Rumor dang. is the dealers over there cheat, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Oh shit! I heard there were some no ne'er do wells up in there as well. What is this place? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, Prim's premier tourist attraction <laughs> resort destination. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Woo! Let's hear about Vicky and Vance again. Happy trails, partner. All right, let's have a look at the gun. In the case. Oh no, it's fucking missing! Vance's gun! The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life. The weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun, so long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip. Or even more, if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload! Wow. Thrilling. Howdy. We can activate the personal machine gun? Oh, okay. I see. And the case is empty! What's up, Prim Slim? Where'd, the, where'd Howdy, it go? Partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mosey on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece of that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Maybe you've been hacked or something? <laughs> uh, the display case is empty. The gun's missing. Have you gone loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Oh god! You hear strange sounds coming from Prim Slim. He may be trying to read a corrupted file. Um. Hmm. So if we had enough science, we'd be able to do that. Happy Maybe at uh, level partner. six we can we can manage that. Or maybe later on. All right. Well, I guess we're raring to go, ready to head on out. To the old, um, uh, Bison Steve, ready to go shoot some motherfuckers. Let's see, let's, let's make sure we're, we're equipped and ready to go here. Let's fix up our machine gun. Here, we should have this one at the ready, shouldn't we? Do you think the weathered one is, is better? Let's see, 18, or 17 versus, if we repair this, oh, we can't repair this one, uh, with the weathered one, I see. Huh. The weathered one actually looks uh, newer than the uh, standard one. All right. Well, still, we'll just use our regular pistol because we got so much ammunition for it. We'll head in here and start shooting them up. We're going to turn them into some bison. Damn. Fucking, where'd they go? Where'd the buffalo go? Oh, look, we're in third person for some reason. Howdy, ma'am. <laughs> Howdy doody, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> Do you hear someone walking around? Nah, I think that's just the ambient music. Alright. Alrighty, man. Let's head on up in here. Get ourselves a... a fucking showdown. Woo-wee! Ooh, some sarsaparilla. 
Hopefully, uh, Deputy Beagle will ha will survive these events, but we'll see. Oh, already bogeys! Look at this son of a butt! Oh God, we can't quite shoot him. Let's wait until he gets a bit closer. Come on! Eat it! Let's get him in the head. There we go. Oh my God, brilliant! Fuck, we're shooting the table. Or the counter. Nice. Easy enough. Let's heal up a bit. Let's see, what have we got in here? We've got... We should be drinking this sarsaparilla, shouldn't we? Alright. Hmm. Let's hack into this sucker, huh? If I recall, there's some good shit in here. Let's see now. Alright. Um, what is a good first one to open with? Um... Morning is alright. Let's try that. Two correct, alright. Soldier is... could that be it? That could be it. Let's try it. Wow, that was it! Man, easy! Nailed it! Calculated! Alright, what have we got? Disengage the lock? Ooh, no, let's... let's pick that lock. Ooh, we can't. Not yet. Let's see here. Disengage. There we are. Ooh. Oh, the Bison Steve maintenance key. Mentats, that'll be useful for later. Uh, purified water. Stim packs, always good. Blood pack. I don't think you use blood packs in this one. I know in the in Fallout 3 you use them for uh, some vampires. Or people who think that they're vampires. Man, they... Man, out in the uh, Washington area. DC area. They, uh, they love Twilight. Good lord. They are huge fans. Always about that RP. Oh, crap. We gotta repair this, uh, varmint rifle, huh? Keep our weight down. Alright, let's try this one out. There we are. And let's loot all these. There we go. Did we check the fridge? No, we did not. Ooh, honey mesquite. Pretty good for its weight. Uh, let's see here. Anything... I'm not seeing anything else. Got a lunchbox. These aren't worth taking in this one, are they? Eh, we'll take it anyway. I think you can still make bottle cap mines out of them. Especially since we picked up cherry bombs, huh? Alright, let's see. What did this guy have on him? NCR money. 556 cases. Fresh apple. Oh. Trooper helmet. Alright. We can repair up our varmint rifle again. But look, we got more varmint rifles right here. Alright, stim pack and whiskey. Definitely want that. Scrap metal, we'll take it just in case. Dynamite, valuable. Alright, let's repair up our varmint rifles. There we go. Let's quick save. Turn off the light. Hello? Oh, you sly son of a gun. Bam! Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold up, hold up! You son of a bitch! Get your ass back here! <laughs> Good God. Good night, Irene. Oh, shit, he's really... He's really gone now. Uh-oh, is that him? No, that's somebody else. Damn it. All right, let's fucking go heavy, man. Remember, we, we said we were gonna save this for a fun time. It's time for some fun, baby! Hell yes, baby! Oh my god! Hell yeah! Woo! Oh my god! My health! Oh god! I wasn't paying attention! I got too excited! <laughs> Alright, I deserve that. I deserve that for not looking. Alright, next time. Next time. Alright, this fucking guy. Let's see if we can actually destroy him immediately. Get him with a headshot. Oh god, they... Fuck me. <laughs> Inaccurate as hell. There we go. We weren't even aiming at his head, but we hit it. Like I said, the bullets curve a bit. There we go. All right, let's bring out the big boy. Hell yes! Oh yeah! Roast in hell, you son of a bitch! Oh my God, he blew up! He superheated and exploded. 
Oh man, that's what you like to see. All right, let's heal up a little bit more. All right, should be some good stuff in this little room here. Should be at least a, uh, a star cap, I believe. Bottle cap, bottle cap, what you got for me? Bottle cap, bottle cap, you know what I want to see? Hmm. Pre-war money, always dope. Toy cars. Oh, is that it on the floor? No. There's a regular book. Junktown Jerky Vendor. Pre-war. Let's see, which perk did I get again? Good lord, I wrote them down, but, uh... Forgot which ones they were. Educated. Um, okay, two more skill points every time you advance a level. Alright. Oh man, we can't open that one yet, either. Holy heck. Let's keep looking around, poking around. Hmm. Pre-war books, if this were Fallout 3, we'd be nabbing those left and right. But alas! Teddy bears like crazy in here. You think it'd be like little toy bisons or something, huh? Man, a hundred bucks NCR. I need to remember that, um... Oh, look, here it is! Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Bada bing, bada boom. I gotta remember that my, um... Uh, I set my healing to a quick key on four. I'm not used to having to actually press the keys on the keyboard. This is my Naga Mouse. Oh, Makes me sad! Alright, let's look around over here. That's the elevator over there. This is... Alright, the maintenance area. I think that's where the dude is. Let's go in the appropriate way, that way he doesn't get blown up. Let's see here. Where are these rascals at? Ooh, look at them. Let's see if we can't get in a sneaky headshot. Son of a butt. There we go. Finally landed one, huh? Uh-oh! Oh, he's got one of the big boys, too! Uh-oh! Let's pull ours out. Let's see, incinerator. Here we go. You like that? Did we hit him? Woo! Flame on, baby! Oh my god! Look at that, we can see through. <laughs> oh, look at this idiot. Oh god, I'm pressing the wrong button! There we go. Let's re-equip this. Burn in hell, you son of a bitch! Holy shit, he blew up again! Oh man, this thing is great! Whew! Alright. <laughs> I think they might be dead. Let's repair up our varmint rifles. Our 9mm, we may as well top it all the way up. Why not? Dynamite. Good. Oh, here, we can get some cola. Always nice to have a bit of cola. Whoops, accidentally drank some. At least it wasn't a toilet. It's only a matter of time before that happens. <laughs> we just start... Slurping from a toilet. Ugh. All right, let's grab his incinerator and use it to fix ours up. Nice. Let's quick save here again. Another varmint rifle. Got some psycho. Man, I am big on using drugs, especially in uh, Fallout 4. Man, I love drugs. Dude, drugs are the best. Drink up a little bit. Oh, hell. Let's drink up for real, though. Is that someone in there? No. I think we cleared out this floor, huh? Yeah, they'd be showing up on the radar, right? Let's stow our big boy. The way we move a bit faster. Let's see, what have we got? Nothing. Oh, it's empty, it's empty. Huh? <laughs> Look at them! Aw! They look kind of cute. Hmm. Oh, we can rest down here for free. 
Any more sarsaparilla? No. No. Oh, some fine art. Gorgeous. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a, uh, a target for them to practice their shots. Oh, here he is, Deputy Beagle. What a shitbird. Grab all this. Empty syringes. Are these used for something? Maybe you can, like, make your own stim packs in this one. I can't recall. Oh, well. Deputy Beagle, what's up? I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have uh, information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Hmm, look, we don't have the speech. I like not having speech. Like I said before, I like the idea of not... of not being a speechy character. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Um... Sure. Hmm, stick with... No. We don't want him to die. Yeah. Sure, run away, you, you freaking deputy beagle. Get out. You bastard. Oh, shit, I accidentally skipped through his shit. Oh, well. He's a bastard. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him go! Whoa! Run, Beagle, run! <laughs> what a rat bastard. Alright, let's grab this water here. Maybe this is his piss. It's purified, you know. Alright, let's see. Whoa, look at all this. Energy resistance, atomic cocktail. Pretty valuable. Can take some whiskey. Hmm. Squirrel on a stick, honey mesquite, Nuka Cola, always good. Can we check that. Anything in here? Squirrel on a stick. Nah, F that. We can't loot this one. Huh, how about that? Uh, some more water. There we go. Jeez, we're really weighing ourselves down over here, aren't we? Let's see. Anything else we can repair up? There we go. Alright, anything in here? Fire hose box, lead pipe. Hm. Oops, just trash in the trash can, as you might expect. Alright, nothing down this way. I guess that only leaves, uh, upstairs. Right? Let's see, there's not another door inside of this, uh, big cafeteria area, right? Yeah, it just goes over to, uh, Beagle's area. The Beagle Zone! Nice. Mentats. Alright. Can we check that one already? Cool. Oh, this actually doesn't go upstairs. Oh, no way it does. <clears throat> Alright. Let's turn off our light. Sneak a bit better without your light on. Don't know how much of a difference it makes, but, uh... Eh. We need all the help we can get. Because our sneak level is not very high at all. Alright. Where are you? Vending machine, Nuka Cola, always good. <gasps> Burn in hell! The flames of justice will be set upon you. Do you like these lines I'm, I'm spitting out here? Pretty dope, huh? The combat music just, like, was about to flip on, but then I guess he got wasted way too quick. Let's see. Anybody in here? Peekaboo! Sneak inside here, see what they got. Eh, doctor's bag, always nice. Let's see. Ooh, a bunch of narcotics and... Helpful stuff. Alrighty. Let's keep sneaking around, lurking around. On the prowl. Man, we're a fucking... We are ramboing the shit out of this. There we are. They had like... 50 something... Not 50. Like, <laughs> we're like 5. Or three, maybe? No, no, like five, yeah, because there were like 
three people outside and two inside, right? And they couldn't take on these fools? Jeez. Alright, what we got in here? Anything worthwhile? Doesn't look like it. Cigarettes. Such a shame that you can't actually smoke in uh, Fallout uh, New Vegas or 4. Or 3, I suppose. I mean, heck, Nick can smoke in uh, Fallout 4. Uh, should we take that? Nah, if that. We can't, we can't repair up our sweet cowboy hat. Look at... <laughs> look at how we walk with this thing. Oh shit, our, our drugs wore off. Our whiskey. Here, let's scarf down some more. There we go. Oh, it counts as a chem, an addictive chem. I mean, yeah, it is addictive. All right. What have we got in here? Ugh. More porcelain where they just like smeared their shit all over it. Foul. Let's see, there's cigarettes over there in the corner. Not interested in them. To be quite frank. Well shit, nobody else is around here, huh? Let's just go fucking hog wild. Come on. Ooh, yeah! Feel the burn! You like that? Huh? What? Where the fuck are you, man? Ah! Oh, there you are. Lord, did you see him just duck out of the way? Whew, man, what a sticky situation. All right, let's drink some uh, some Jamba Juice here. Man, we're flying through the Stimpex, aren't we? Oh, look, we leveled up already, though. Hmm. You know, this wasn't part of the plan, but let's do it, man. There we go, that should be good enough. And then, let's go back to the plan. There we are. All right. Let's pull out the uh, incinerator again. Love using that thing. Did I mention already that uh, my first run through in this, I used uh, energy weapons. That was pretty fun. But I also am very keen on using the cowboy weapons. They're very fun as well. Alright. What have you guys got on you? Ammo, varmint rifles, and all that? Hmm. Oh, another rawhide cowboy hat. Can we actually repair ours with that? Let's see here. No. Bummer. Let's see, where is it? There we go. Drop that. And let's repair up some of these babies. Hmm. All right. That ought to do it. A butter knife. Hmm. Spreading butter. All right. What have we got in here? Did we clear out the entire place? We may have. Desk. Eh. Garbage can, got some cigs, got some cola. What about in here? What have we got? Anybody home? No? A park stroller outfit. No, we've already got... Oh, whoops. We definitely want to take that. Hmm. Desk. Aha! drink up a bit here. We don't want to use all of our, uh, what do you call them? Let's wait for him to round the corner. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. God, I love it when they explode! Holy crap! Alright. Varmint rifle again? My god. 
We're getting loaded up on these. That goes outside. I think I hear one other person walking around. Oh, a gun cabinet. Oh, with a silenced pistol. Nice. That'll come in handy way later down the road. Ah, tape. Ransom note. Let's read it. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small, unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. The Vance Gun Brochure. One of the highlights of the museum at the Vicky and Vance Casino is the authentic gun that Vance used in the cross-country crime spree. This gun is proudly on display at the center of the casino, near the car they died in. Oh, and here's our delivery order. I guess we should read this, huh? Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Ex Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Manifest. This package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package uh, until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction. What? Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any uh, malfeasance or loss. Failure to deliver the proper... Uh, okay. Yeah, all this is... Yeah. General stuff that you would see. Hmm. What else have we got in here, though? Anything else? We've got more cigarettes on, on here. Man. I'm surprised that they put these just around. Like, you know, they're pretty easy to miss. And they can't be good on the, uh, the old performance, huh? At least on consoles back in the day when it came out. Ugh. <laughs> very easy lock. It was very easy. Anything in here? Oh, wow, look at this person. Wow, they had a real party, didn't they? Jesus. Oh, God! Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God, the party lives on, man! Party on, dude! Hell yeah! We're having a rough and wild time! <laughs> man, look at all these drugs! Whew! Look at this person on here. Man, they were having such a good time, their leg fell off. Jeez! <laughs> Pre-war money. All right, all that stuff we don't need. Okay. Let's see. We've been through everywhere here, right? Except for outside. Oh, our whiskey has worn off. Hmm. Do we have anything we can? Uh, huh. Let's see here. Well, let's just drink another whiskey. Why the hell not? All right, let's poke around outside. I believe there's uh, some folks out here. Should be. Yeah, I think there's someone on the uh, the tracks. Something like that. Hmm. Huh. Maybe there's not. Maybe I maybe I'm remembering that incorrectly. Let's pull out our rifle just in case. Let's see. Was there anything? Over on these tracks, though, I don't think there was. I want to say they were just completely... Oh, look at the geckos and blow... Oh, just blowflies. Yeah, I don't believe there's anything up there. Oh, there is a guy! There is actually a guy up there. Alright. That's a convict. Can we get a shot on him? Nope. 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 Oh. Holy hell, man. We better, uh, pop some healing to have going while we're dueling like this. No, 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 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Oh, why is he run? Why is everyone running from me? Get back here, you bastard! Come on, we were having a duel. You son of a butt. Oh, now he wants to fight. God, I landed three shots based on the iron sights, but uh, the one that actually killed him was the one that I would have missed. All right, let's repair up again. There we are. Yeah, and there's nothing up here, right? Yeah. Okay. I think that wraps up every... every dude. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is very dangerous. Many a times have I come down here and accidentally died. Alright, let's see. Can we just, um... Hmm. I may be able to just jump off here somewhere. I don't know. Might not be a good idea, come to think of it. I gotta remember that the fall damage is, uh, ever-present here, rather than in Morrowind. We could go around the back. Now, let's just go down the proper way, huh? Oh, actually! Hmm. Hey, hold up a second. I believe there's actually something here, like a secret. Um, or maybe I'm misremembering this, but I want to say there's a secret up here. Let's see. Was it up here? Shit, I may be remembering this wrong. Oh man, I thought there was like a, um, like a sniper rifle up here or something. Wasn't there a sniper rifle up here? I could have sworn. Maybe I'm thinking of some uh, building top in Fallout 4. Huh. Quaint. What about over here? Anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it, does it? But that is a good way to get down, huh? Yeah, I guess we'll jump down from the front, huh? Why not? Oh, good god. <laughs> Jesus! Someone! Alright, let's... Can we jump on this thing? Let's do some fucking parkour, man. Oh! Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice! Goop! <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Can we make this jump? Yeah, of course we can. Here we go. Oh. There's a level downward more. Maybe it's down here. Oh shit, is that it? Oh my god! That might be it right there. Oh no, the whiskey is worn off! Oh, but just in time to get some vodka. Yeah, here we go, some chems. I thought it was a sniper rifle though, but eh, this'll do. Binoculars? They already have some binoculars though, I think. Yeah. They're kind of valuable though. Probably worth holding on to. Alright. Um, let's see. Vodka. There we go. We're a heavy drinker. <laughs> Not much of a drink... Uh, in fact, I don't drink at all in real life. <laughs> the craziest thing I drink in real life is, uh, coffee. And I... Man, let me tell you, I have a caffeine addiction. <laughs> Alright. Let's head out. Oh, I can't fucking resist the uh, temptation to loot it. Oh, God. All right. Oh, look, we could have easily just walked up there. All right, you don't have to do all that crazy uh, parkour at all. <laughs> all righty, where are you, man? Was he not out, out yet? Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, he must still be inside. Here, let's wait an hour. Did he come out yet? Don't tell me he got killed along the way or something. He, like, tripped over a body and died. Oh, no, I must have to go out this... Yeah, okay. In order to trigger the uh, quest to advance or something like that. I see, I gotcha. Alright. Where are you, man? Adi. Is that him down there? Yeah, that looks like his 
greasy butthead. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing there? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Hmm. What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. <laughs> uh, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. I like also, that. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. I like how they... I'm not sure why they, they have just, helped um, out already. Like, th there they don't give you any leeway on the courier as a character. They, it's just, yeah, the courier is a drifter. They, they don't settle down. They're not a homebody. The courier is definitely a person who likes to drift from place to place. You can be anyone else within that confine, but that's uh, that's one of the uh, the confines of the character. I'm into that. All right. Um, I'll help bring law, law and order back to Prim. Sure. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. <laughs> yeah, it does it, does it? <laughs> Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? Um, tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. What a son of a butt. I was uh, uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hmm, all right. So we've got our next um lead. Let's see, does he Any have anything else to say? A suitable... I'm still looking. Um Yeah, I'm still looking. I do thank you so kindly for your efforts. Um Hmm. No, I don't want Prim Slim to be the sheriff. <laughs> as much as I love him. Uh what are you doing in here? Well, a deputy isn't much good without a sheriff. Uh, so I figured I'd come in here and protect these good people until someone finds us a new one. Yeah, sure, that makes Maybe sense. Maybe next time you can bring a new <laughs> sheriff back with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go down to the, the sheriff store and pick one up. I, I saw one named Andy. He, he seems pretty trustworthy, but he's already got a pretty committed deputy. Hey there. <laughs> All right. Ruby, do you have anything to say now that we, Welcome uh... Welcome back. Good to see you again. Now that we freed the town. No? Okay. Yeah. Where is... Is this him? Yeah, Johnson. Hey, Ash. youngster. Ooh, he's Still eating. hanging about Prim, huh? Right in front of the freaking thing. Um, hmm. Hmm, no, I don't want Prim Slim to be the sheriff. How can I help bring, uh, bring rule of law back to Prim? Now your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural-born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. And maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Hmm. Um, let's see. No, nah, like I said, I don't want Prim Slim to be the, the sheriff. Yeah, I'll find you guys Finally the decided to make yourself useful, huh? If you can bring the law back to Prim, we'll all be in your debt. Um, hmm. We'll play a game of Caravan later on. For now, though, I want to get that freaking... Oh, no, wait. Let's let's sell some stuff at Jonathan... Or Johnson Nash. Hey, youngster. Let's see. Trade. Anything for sale. Here we go. Let's sell off some of these weapons that we got repaired up. Can get rid of these binoculars as well. Probably dump off some dynamite, you know. I guess we don't need our incinerator anymore, do we? Hmm, let's see. Do we need it? It might be useful later on. It is 12 pounds, though. 
Maybe not so much. Yeah, let's let's sell the incinerator. Goodbye, incinerator. We knew you well. And, uh, oh, look. We only have one varmint rifle for some reason. I thought we had more. Could probably stand to dump the baseball bat. As much as I love baseball bats as melee weapons. Could also probably dump this. We already have the, uh, the shovel, which has two uses. Alright. Let's get rid of this cowboy hat, I suppose. Hmm. Lightweight leather we could dump. That ought to do it, right? Yeah, if we want if we want armor, we can just pop on the Vault 13 suit. Alright. Let's see, anything else here? Yeah, cigarettes we got plenty of. Can dump all these. Cool. Alright. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, now let's get in here and grab this freaking gun, huh? Do we actually have a locksmith uh, who's a what's-it to get us up there high enough? Let's check here real quick before we make a mistake. Hmm. I don't think we have one. It's a locksmith's digest or something, right? Yeah, shit, we don't have one. We'll come back with one, though. Maybe he actually sells one. Let's check real quick. Hey, youngster. Let's see, what do you have for sale? Let's check under aid. Boxing. Fixing. Melee. No. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's check in the, um... Either. The Mojave Express, though. There's a few, uh, things worth looking at in there. Oh, jeez. Alright. We also got this, uh... Daniel Wyand. He's got a caravaneer outfit. Mojave Express delivery order four of six. Let's see what this one says. Um, let's see. Same exact thing, except two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material. Yeah, so this was the guy with the dice, as we can tell. Let's check in here. Was there like a secret uh, safe inside this one? I can't remember, but we'll have a look and see. Thing back here doesn't look like it there's also some houses behind that divide that are usually worth poking around in who knows we might find a lock picking guide oh Millsurp review I think that's for uh, guns all right let's look inside here there might actually be a lock picking uh, magazine in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta get this dude fixed up just as well. Let's check in here before uh, old What's-His-Butt comes in. Nice. Look, we got some casserole. We didn't even have to trade off anything for it. Ooh, prickly pear. Oh look, we found dog meat! <laughs> we got dog meat, everybody! We found him! He's in this game after all! Aw, oh, man, programmers and fixing things. All right. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, good stuff. Um, let's see. Boxing gloves, varmint rifle. Hmm. Settler outfit. Huh. All right, yeah, I guess nothing worth it. Let's see, anything back behind here, though? No. Any good mail? Wow, someone put a cherry bomb in the freaking mailbox. What an ass. Alright. This is an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have been seen a good bit of action. There is very little in the way of serious damage. Um, let's try to fix it with repair. Um, some servos and gyroscopes need to be recalibrated and replaced, but it looks as though the robot can be repaired uh, with 65 repair or higher. We can repair them with parts, though. 
Let's examine the electronics though first. Um, a few of the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems and the secondary systems, if you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary systems should compensate and make some of the repairs easier. But you need Science 55, which we don't have. So let's go back to this and fix them with parts. Um, let's see. Three scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Okay. Let's see. What do we have at the moment? We have one sensor module, I think. Yeah, we need one more, and we need some electronics. Right? Scra no, we have scrap electronics already. Alright, we can just drop some of them off here, can't we? They're not very valuable, are they? Let's double check. Yeah, they're not. There you go. <laughs> so we just need one more sensor module. Alrighty. Now let's, um... Let's do some gambling before we call this thing. Um, <laughs> but first, I gotta use the restroom, so I'm just gonna do a cut here. And uh, we'll be back and ready to start gambling away all of our caps. <laughs> Whew, all right, we're back at it. Sorry, I think that's the first time I ever had to uh, <laughs> take a restroom break while recording. Uh, like I said, drank some coffee earlier. Well, I don't think I said that, but I was talking about coffee, and I had some. And you know what that means. <laughs> all right, let's see here. We got to... Um, Howdy. Let's gamble on some of the machines here, huh? Can we actually gamble on these machines? I think so, right? Hmm, I thought we could. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe we can't. No. I could have sworn you could gamble in this casino. Let's see, are any of these, like, looking like they're turned on? No, I don't think so. It's just this one that looks like it's, uh, functional. Howdy. Hmm, weird. I could have sworn you could come here and gamble. Oh, well. What we will do is play some caravan. Maybe it's here? No? 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 Alright. Where are you, uh, Johnson? Oh, no, wait, is it in here? Oh, no. Huh. Weird. Oh, a combat knife. We need that. Because that, uh, that works with our cowboy build. Oh, look, a silenced pistol in here as well. Hmm. Could take these cigarettes. Anything else worth stealing in here? Man, no gambling, but uh, definitely some pilfering. Hmm. All right. Let's gamble. Hey there. Or play some caravan, I guess. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about prim, huh? Now I think I'll um I'll fast forward through these. I won't skip it, but I'll fast forward through it, like, uh, at least ten times speed. Oh yeah! <laughs> 31 caps, it was fucking worth it! No, it was not. It really was not. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Maybe we can buy some hey, stuff from him and then Still hanging about gamble him, huh? gamble back our money. Hold up a sec. Yeah. Let's quick save here and then see if Hey youngster. If when we trade to him, maybe we can get um Maybe we can pay him a lot of money but then get our money back. Alright. There we go. Now he's got fourteen forty seven. Another satisfied customer. And let's see. Does he have it when you we try to caravan him? Yes, he does. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can't win back our money. Oh yeah, we got the money back, baby! Alright, let's see. Can we, can we make it all back? Fuck, man! Ugh. I don't think the deck is strong. The deck is not strong. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try and beat him again. We gotta get our money back, holy shit! Oh, 
Whew, holy shit, that one took for freaking ever. All right. Oh, look, we're making our money back in NCR money? Huh, I never knew that. Oh, well, we'll get it back eventually. Oh, look, we got a, a little achievement thing. All right, holy shit. Well, three rounds is probably enough for now. Uh, when next we come back... Hmm, let's see. Jesus, I spent so long gambling away all my fucking money. Well, actually, I guess I gained a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, right, the, the new sheriff, right. Hmm, should we try and get get a new sheriff already? Maybe. Maybe we try and do that. We've got our, uh, our powder ganger disguise, so we can easily, um, go and get a, um... <laughs> the uh, the convict sheriff, which I, I think I would be into. I'd be into that. Um, at the uh, NC, NCRCF. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, he's on patrol. Well, uh, yeah, when next we come back, we will head out to um, the Powder Ganger area, and we'll try to have on our uh, outfit. Oh, and we also need to fix up Eddie, don't we? We need one more sensor module, which should, we'll probably find somewhere along the way. Like I said, there's a shack full of electronics somewhere out there. Oh, and we'll probably also uh, need to remember to check the houses over there. Find something nice in there. All right, till next time. Peace. Peace.